Welcome to Lesson 3, High versus Low Blood Sugar. When you complete this lesson, you will learn the following. What is the difference between high and low blood sugar? What are the signs and symptoms of high and low blood sugar? What are the causes and effects of high and low blood sugar? How to treat high and low blood sugar? What is the difference between high and low blood sugar? In Lesson 2, you learned what it means to monitor your diabetes. In other words, how to make sure your blood sugar is at normal level, not too high or too low. In Lesson 3, we will learn how high or low blood sugar can impact your ability to operate a vehicle. High blood sugar is called hyperglycemia. Low blood sugar is called hypoglycemia. Your blood maintains a normal amount of sugar in order to supply its cells with energy. However, if the body's blood sugar becomes too low or too high, the body will react with physical symptoms. Now we will talk about what are the signs and symptoms of high blood sugar. Symptoms of high blood sugar, sometimes called hyperglycemia, include extreme thirst, frequent urination, especially at night, dry skin, hunger, blurred vision, drowsiness, decreased healing. If your blood sugar is constantly high, your body might adjust and you may not have symptoms, which can be very dangerous. That's why diabetes is sometimes called a silent killer. Now let's discuss the causes and effects of high blood sugar. There are several things that can cause blood sugar to increase, including 1. Eating too many carbohydrates will increase your blood sugar. Remember, the digestive system converts carbs into sugar and dumps it into the bloodstream. 2. Missing an insulin dose or not taking enough insulin will result in increased blood sugar. 3. Illness or infections cause the liver to release stored sugar into the bloodstream. Providing additional sugar or energy cells will be needed to fight the illness. 4. Emotional stress will also increase blood sugar. The following are effects of high blood sugar. 1. Damage the delicate vessels in the eyes, causing blindness. 2. Damage the kidneys, which filter the blood. 3. Damage the nerves in hands and feet, resulting in numbness or pain referred to as diabetic neuropathy. How to treat low blood sugar Earlier, we discussed the symptoms, causes, and effects of low blood sugar. Let's learn about how to treat low blood sugar and when to seek medical attention. Blood sugar is considered low when it is below 70 points. Low blood sugar can quickly become an emergency, so it is important to treat a low blood sugar ASAP. When your blood sugar is low, you need to immediately 1. Follow the rule of 15. Consume 15 grams of carbohydrates or a small container of fruit juice or half a can of regular soda or four glucose tablets. B. Test your blood sugar every 15 minutes. If blood sugar is below 70, consume another 15 grams of carbs. C. Eat a protein snack, half a peanut butter sandwich or peanut butter crackers or cheese and crackers to avoid sugar spike. 2. Do not treat low blood sugar with sweets, candy, cookies, and cake or your sugar will spike too high. 3. If your blood sugar continues to decrease or you suspect you have taken too much insulin, call 911. How to treat high blood sugar Now that you know the symptoms, causes, and effects of high blood sugar, let's learn about how to treat high blood sugar and when to seek medical attention. Blood sugar is considered high when it is above 250 points, two hours after consuming food or beverages. When blood sugar is high, you will want to do the following. 1. Call your doctor if your blood sugar is above 350 points. 2. If an insulin dose or diabetes medication was missed, take the missed dose immediately. 3. Drink a lot of water. Water helps remove excess sugar from your blood through urine, and it will help to avoid dehydration. 4. If you are feeling well enough, go on a walk. Walking will help to burn some of the excess sugar from the bloodstream. 5. Test your blood sugar with a glucometer frequently to make sure your blood sugar is decreasing.
In summary, in lesson 3, high versus low blood sugar, you now know what is the difference between high and low blood sugar? What are the signs and symptoms of high and low blood sugar? What are the causes and effects of high and low blood sugar? How to treat high and low blood sugar?